Hey guys, today I wanted to give you a quick look at watchOS 4.2. It was released a day after iOS 11.2, and it brings a lot of the features from iOS 11 to the watch UI. Now, I wanted to cover those here inside of messages and show you some of the key differences between watchOS 4.2 and previous versions. Now, there isn't a whole lot that's different. Uh, it has improved the animations. It also has improved connectivity with the connection of the networks, but there's also some additional things that are available with watchOS 4.2. Now, if we scroll through uh, some of these uh, options here, the first thing you'll notice is the new emojis are now available on watchOS 4.2, which is always a welcome addition. All the emojis that you would find with iOS 11.2 are here with watchOS 4.2. See all the new characters, even the ones that have been redefined to work in iOS 11.2. Those are all present here in watchOS 4.2 as well. So it's really nice to see everything sort of unified. Same new emojis that you find in iOS 11.2, you'll find with watchOS. By the way, I highly recommend you update to watchOS 4.2 because it does bring a bunch of new enhancements in performance and animations and even battery life I noticed that's been proved quite a bit. Now, one of the biggest features and most exciting for watchOS 4.2 is gonna be Apple Pay, which is now gonna be available on your Apple Watch and of course the other person has to have Apple Pay enabled on their end if they don't then you'll get a message that that person does not have Apple Pay enabled as of yet and that they'll have to do so but you can now transfer and send money directly from your Apple Watch with the one single tap now to set up this on your iPhone if you have your iPhone and you don't have the Apple Pay cash set up all you have to do is launch the watch application scroll down and you want to find the wallet application right there it is so once you find the wallet application tap into it and you can enable it right there on the top you see it says apple pay cash just enable that toggle and you'll be ready to go and that is how you set up your apple pay cash on your new apple watch as well in case it doesn't by default enable it when you set it up. Other than new Apple Pay features, new animations, better battery performance, I highly recommend updating to watchOS 4.2. And by the way, you do have to be running iOS 11.2 on your iPhone in order to get this to work properly on your Apple Watch. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to cover a watchOS 4.2 and some of the latest happenings in the world of Apple Watch. It's been Night Device Help. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.